fans, today we're talking about the TV show Lego Masters and how our obsession with the world's most famous plastic brick has turned into a reality competition show. Where contestants start off with a single Lego brick and build crazy creations. And I can't wait to tell you the four ways that really make this show click. I'm running out of time. More Legos, please. This is what they got right with Lego Masters. The first thing they got right was to import the show. Lego Masters actually started in the UK and it was such a smash. And I mean literally a smash. It quickly became the channel's number one new series and it was so popular it expanded to Germany and then Australia. Where I'm told lost Legos can still be found in the pouches of some kangaroos. The show is also going to Belgium and the Netherlands. And now Lego Masters has come to the USA. It's world domination. Producers wanted to make the biggest, most hilarious version of the show. So the second thing they got right is the host. None other than Batman. I mean, the voice of Batman. <coughs> I mean, Will Arnett. He's not only the host of the show, but he's also a huge Lego fan himself. In fact, he has a whole guest room filled with Legos. Although, after seeing what he does to some of the contestants' creations, I'm not sure I'd want him anywhere near mine. The producers not only wanted the show to be funny, but also huge. How huge? Well, the third thing they got right is the contestants have 3.5 million Legos to build from. You heard me, 3.5 million. That's a Lego for every person in the city of Los Angeles. With 2,500 different types of bricks, tiles, and pieces in the brick pit, plus 7,000 minifigures, it takes a whole team of 12 people just to sort the Legos every day. Uh, guys, you missed some. Oh, man. <laughs> but that's just the beginning of what goes on behind the scenes to make the show come together. The show's producers knew that the contestants would take the challenges to the next level and make things so massive and complex that nobody knew how long they would actually take to build. That leads us to the fourth thing they got right. They created the position of the challenge tester. When the contestants are given a challenge, the testers take their plans and make sure they can be done in the time allotted to make the show as exciting as it can be in one hour. One hour? Here's what I made in an hour. He's supposed to be a 15 foot long unicorn that flies and spits fire. Judges, what do you think? No. If you want to see how real creations of some truly amazing and talented Lego builders stack up against each other, check out Lego Masters. Now, where was I? Oh no, we're running out of time. Thanks for watching What They Got Right! Ah! <laughs>